Hi, today we're going to be talking about starting your LLC in Michigan. I'm Michelle and I'll be taking you on a step-by-step -step guide of what exactly is an LLC, how you're going to set it up, and the easiest and the most affordable ways. You'll also learn about the terms piercing the corporate veil and registered agent in this video. It's one of those key steps that you really can't afford to miss. Michigan is ranked number 10 in the country for providing the business environment to startups. It has become a choice for so many businesses out there. Having an LLC in the state of Michigan is cost effective because of its tax benefits. Other than the filing fee, there are not that many annual costs that are need to be paid. The biggest business contribution is from your automobile and the agriculture industries in Michigan. Now you can set up your Michigan LLC by three methods. Number one is that you can do it yourself, or which you can do it online or send it off via mail. Number two is that you hire a professional service to do it for you, which is the most easy and secure method out there. We recommend Zen Business as one of the best and most affordable services for this purpose. Number three is that you can go ahead and hire an attorney. Coming on to what is an LLC, it's a very common and an important question. An LLC is a hybrid business entity combining a corporation's characteristics with a partnership or sole proprietorship. It separates your personal assets from your business assets and gives you personal asset protection. When you're starting off your LLC in Michigan, you mainly have to file your certificate of formation with the state and pay a filing fee of $50. Now coming on to Zen Business, what is Zen Business? What are you going to get with it? You're going to get three plans, a starter plan, a pro plan, and a premium plan. It's perhaps the only formation service out there that has three important features in all of its plans. The starter plan has all of the essential services required to form an LLC. It's a suitable plan for you if you want something very budget friendly, you don't, cannot afford too much. The starter plan is available at zero dollars. However, the mandatory state filing fees must be paid. It's very cost effective and it offers you all of your essential services like your registered agent and your operating agreement draft. Coming over to the pro plan, it offers some additional services along with the main services offered in the starter plan. Also in the pro plan, your filing time will be way less. In this plan, what are you getting? You're getting an advertising consultant, you're getting annual compliance services, and you can speed up your filing process. In the premium plan, which is by far the costliest plan by Zen Business, well, it offers almost all of your services related to starting off your LLC. In addition to the services which are being mentioned in the starter plan and the pro plan, it offers you faster filing process, business website, domain, and your very own email address. Now, in this video, we're going to be discussing options number one and number two. But we're going to be placing emphasis on why you need a professional service to do it for you, because you have to make sure that you're doing your LLC work correctly. This is one of those things where you can't afford missing out any key information or have any misunderstandings. Zen Business is a very competent professional service which you can get. Because filing your LLC is not just filing the certificate of formation, but it's also deciding on a name, having a registered agent, creating an operating agreement, and obtaining an EIN. All of these can be done super easily with Zen Business. I'm going to be leaving the links in the description below. You can go there and check it out for yourself. But for now, we're going to be discussing the five main steps that you need to do when you're starting off your LLC. The first and foremost step is choosing your business name. Now, before you name your business, you must know that the name should be easy to remember, should be available in the state, and should follow the LLC naming guidelines. Now, you can find the naming guidelines at lcbuddy.com. The specific requirements that you need to follow when you start to name your company is that number one, your business name should be available, and no other existing business in Michigan can share that name. Each business name is very unique to its owner. Number two is a limited liability company or LLC should be there as a suffix in the company name. Number three is that you cannot use any name for your business which could be confusing or misleading. So terms like Treasury, State Department, FBI, CIA, they cannot be included. Number four is that terms like bank, attorney, university, doctor, they can be added but only after you fill out the additional requirements by the Michigan State Government. Now, if you do not wish to file your LLC right now, but you want to hold on to the name you have decided, then you can reserve the name for six months and it's going to just cost you $25. The second and very critical step to forming your LLC in the state of Michigan is to appoint your registered agent. A registered agent is an entity that's going to act and work on your LLC's behalf. Now, this person or business is going to be receiving all the important paperwork and all official government correspondence within Michigan. You need to make sure that your registered agent is a resident of Michigan or has a physical street address there. Their business address is going to be the principal address for your LLC. Most LLC formation companies do also provide registered agent services like Zen Business. Zen Business provides registered agent services as an add-on to the formation package 
but you can also purchase them as a standalone service. An important thing to note when you're getting a registered agent is having a legit one because in case you're sued or the lawyer of the other party is going to do what is known as piercing the corporate will. Most people believe that they're setting up their LLCs for tax purposes, but the real reason for setting up your LLC is to limit your liability. It's going to protect your personal assets. Basically what it does is that it creates a divide between your personal assets and your business assets. So if you're sued in your business, they cannot really go after your personal assets. So when you're sued, the lawyer of the other party is going to start looking for little cracks in your LLC. And this is where they pierce the corporate will. The first thing that they're going to check is do you have a registered agent? Is the agent legit? And have they been filing the paperwork? The third and another important step in forming your LLC is to file your certificate of formation. The Michigan Articles of Organization is a legal document needed to officially register your business with the Secretary of State. It's going to cost you $50 to file your formation certificate in Michigan. Now, the certificate of formation includes details like the name of your LLC, your registered agent's name, address, employee details, and the structure of your company. Are you member managed or manager managed? So before you start hiring employees in Michigan, you should really know about the rules and regulations there thoroughly so you can avoid any future issues. We personally suggest that you use Zen Business to file the certificate of formation because they provide an easier way to fill out the forms without any confusion or having any misunderstandings. If you happen to get stuck anywhere, they have a great customer support service. You can go ask your questions and they will respond to you. Now, the fourth step is filing your operating agreement. An operating agreement is an internal document that legally outlines the proprietorship and the operating procedures of your LLC. This document is super vital as it ensures that all the business owners are on the same page regarding how they operate, their voting power, business dissolutions, and a lot more. This helps reduce future conflicts. So when it comes to filing a Michigan LLC operating agreement, the state doesn't really want you to have a very comprehensive operating agreement. But it is ideal to have one that contains the details of your business operation, and it is for your own benefit. It's recommended that it should be done by using a professional service like Zen Business, since they know exactly what you do, and you won't have to worry about missing any detail. They provide the service as an add-on to your formation package for a very small fee. The EIN is an employer identification number. It's a nine digit number given by the IRS to make it easier to identify businesses for tax purposes. The EIN is necessary for any active business out there. When do you need one? It's when your LLC is gonna start hiring employees. How do you get one? Well, you, all you have to do is fill up a form which can be done online or by mail and just submit it to the IRS. You can also get an EIN through Zen Business and they can even help you out with the process. I'm going to be leaving the links to all the resources in the description below. You can go there, check out which of the options fit your requirements. But for now, I'm going to show you how you can file your forms using Zen Business. Now, this is the main page for Zen Business. You can type up your business name and you can have a search over there and you can start off your LLC. Pick out the state you want to start your business in. Now they're going to run a name check, see if it's available or not in the first place. Do you have any prior business experience? Let them know if you're going to have any employees as well. Let them know if you want to have any physical location other than your home. So like if you're setting up a shop or you're going to be operating from home. Let them know what stage of business you're at. Let them know what your goals are. Is it a side business, primary income, or is it something new completely? Pick a category, check if you want to save your progress or not. Now, they're even recommending you get a registered agent and I really recommend you do. Do you need an EIN and business documents? Like I said in the video, you really should go through that rather than going to the IRS website and possibly making any mistake that could cost you your filing entirely. This is where they're going to tell you all of their packages. They have the starter plan, the pro plan and the premium plan. This is going to break it down for you. The pro plan is going to cost you $199 per year. It has its advantages. You can go through the full package detail as well. Zen Business Money Pro is an added feature which helps you manage your money on finances all in one place. Check if you want to get the expedited or rush filing. If you're in a hurry, you can go for it. If you're not and you can wait a couple of days, I recommend you do that. They also offer online tools like your custom website, domain name, privacy, email address. So if you're looking for that, you can add that on as well. Check if you want a customized operating agreement. Like I said earlier, it's better if you have one. Select if you want annual worry fee compliance. It's really up to you. It's basically them handling your annual taxes. Fill out your information here that they require. Name and suffix, whatever they need, email and number. Review your order. See if you have anything you want to check or if you want to include anything or take away anything. 
and then you can just continue to payment and that's all you need to set up your LLC with Zen Business. Now that you've created your Michigan LLC, there's still a few things that you're going to need. You need a company business bank account and a business credit card. You need to file the Michigan business permits and licenses. You need to get general liability insurance and professional liability insurance, which is going to cover your employees. You need to file the Michigan LLC annual report. So this was an in-depth video on how you can start off your LLC in Michigan. I really hope it helps you out in setting up your LLC and good luck to all of you out there who's starting off your business. Please continue supporting our channel by liking the video, subscribing to our channel and clicking the little notification button. Thank you for watching.